You get a choice between two bottles. No false. This is my friend Leo. It's his second appearance on this channel. And today, we'll challenge him with some more puzzles. You gotta choose between two puzzles. This is called the Oliotin puzzle. It's made by a designer from Japan called Yu Asaka. He's really good. His designs are very creative and elusive. But your other choice, for you like the same answer, here you have 19 corner pieces. Either I fit this over here or I fit this over here. Yeah, so basically you have to choose now, right now. I choose this one. You choose this one. This one is more challenging. And this one it looks easy to solve. They have less combination compared with this one. Probability calculations. Oh, I told you he was a genius. Go ahead, solve this puzzle. You have no time limitation. I believe you can do it. And no brutal force. No brutal force. No, <laughs> no force at all. No power at all. No bending. The frame doesn't go in two parts, and there's no like no shenanigans. Every piece is is a piece, and the frame is a frame. You cannot break it. You cannot glue anything. Cheer him up in the comments, cause uh, he's pretty new to puzzles. Enjoy Leo, good luck. And here I am again, voice overing over Leo's solve. Actually, he didn't talk this whole solve and I can understand that because it's really, really tough to talk while solving a difficult puzzle. As we can see, he's arranging all the pieces outside the frame, which is pretty smart in the start at least. And he's already found pair of jigsaws that combine together, which is awesome. Now it looks like he's examining all the jigsaw pieces and checking out what fits and what not. And he already has a block of four jigsaws. Okay. Looks like he's progressing pretty quickly and he doesn't stumble for even one moment. Even though six and a half minutes have passed, he still looks like he knows what he's doing. Okay, nice. Look how concentrated he is. It's actually pretty crazy how he's so deeply focused into the solution. Not talking, not moving, not losing any drop of focus. And one more piece is inside. Nice. Leo's doing quite a good job on this puzzle. He's doing pretty well. And let's see. Oh, he found something. Look how how systematic he is. He's actually checking all the pieces to make sure that nothing fits in the same place other than the piece that he found. This is very smart. Good move from Leo. Two blocks in the side already that are ready for assembly. And now Leo continues making new pairs of jigsaws. Look at him, he's so into it. But I don't know if it's actually challenging for him or not. Okay, three pieces and he's checking others as well. What's he doing? Hmm, maybe he tries to see how the pieces will enter the frame in the end. So he's trying to arrange them in the way they will be in the frame. Looking good so far, Liam. Focus. Laser focus on the goal. That's what's good about puzzles. You just start solving them and you get so into it that you can't think of anything else. They take all of your like, RAM, of your memory. <laughs> Look at this thinking mode. And he's continuing his sacred work of solving the puzzle. Seems like he is doubting his own actions, which is bound to happen with this kind of puzzle. Oh! 
Nice. Cleo has talked after a long while of being concentrated. Pretty close to the end, I think. Looks like Leo has almost everything assembled and he just needs to find some last movements, last connections, and then he will be super close to the end. Only three jigsaws are left in the side. All he needs to do is only to find the right places for them. Leo, this shouldn't be too hard. Now he arranges the complete blocks of jigsaws into what he thinks would be the final position. As you can see, he's playing around with them, experimenting with different options, and there are many options with this one. And it seems like he's back to finding a jigsaw piece. Maybe he thought that he can actually take this block that he's holding right now and put it like near another block. Maybe he thought they would connect somehow, which is a cool idea. And we can see that he's back to trying to find a way to connect all the pieces so far. He flips one of those blocks and he flips another block of jigsaws. This looks pretty good. You see the line? Looks like this is how it should be. And no, this is not quite it. Quite, and he flips another one. Let's see if that will help or not. Okay, he's experimenting some more. Trying all possible combinations. Very systematic as always. And he flips this one as well. Actually, if he flipped all four, then maybe he shouldn't flip anything. But that's okay. So he flipped all of them. And now he tries to arrange them into a frame shape and seems like they are pretty good together but he tries some other options he is doubting himself no no not no he doesn't okay now he's going for the final moves he's inserting everything into the frame which means that he's pretty sure that this is the correct position he is pretty sure he's on the right track and there are only a few more moves so he can solve the puzzle and indeed he's so close look how satisfying the jigsaws fit into the frame this is so satisfying to watch and I solved this puzzle so many times already so satisfying putting this put it no. yeah here it is it's inside good and another one last one yeah! Nice! That was quick, man! Well done to Leo. Yeah! For solving this puzzle in 23 minutes, which is pretty fast, I'd say. Especially when it's his third puzzle that he solved. No, the fourth one. No. Leo asked me to actually solve more puzzles. Yeah! See you guys next time when he solves the audio 10 puzzle. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment. See ya!